I'm sure you're curious, what is the metaverse? Here to answer that question, I'd like to welcome Peggy Johnson, CEO of Magic Leap, a company at the forefront of its possibilities. Welcome, Peggy. Thank you, thanks very much. Um, so I've been given the daunting task of uh, describing what the metaverse is. <laughs> Um, it's that's not an, an easy thing to do actually I'm the CEO of an augmented reality headset company and I'm often asked what what is the metaverse and essentially the metaverse is a blending of your physical and your digital worlds um, basically it's a little frustrating as an augmented reality company um, that oftentimes the current dialogue around the metaverse is centered in virtual reality. So virtual reality is where you might put on a headset and you enter another world. And there's great opportunity for virtual reality. There's entertainment, there's training, there's things like that. Um, but there's also augmented reality where you still see your physical world and you augment it with digital content in front of your eyes. And both are the metaverse, which is why it becomes a little bit confusing. Um, and the way I think of it is this. Uh, if you think about the digital infrastructure of the internet, that's the area that houses all of your data and the services and the applications that you use. And you enter the digital internet through a physical device, whether it's your mobile phone or the PC. The metaverse now will be will actually expand upon that and it will be a merging of your digital and your physical worlds. Sometimes you'll be fully virtual. Sometimes like in this application here, it's a factory. The physical part of this factory is in gray and the digital part is in purple and they're blended together and that creates a whole new experience. Now, it's also important to note that the metaverse is not a singular destination. I think sometimes we come to see that from the media, that it's only one place. That would be like saying the internet is only one web page. Um, but what it's going to be is an interconnected web of networks, much like the digital interface or the digital uh, internet is, but it'll be expanded and it'll create new experiences for all of us. Um, the metaverse is going to be the technological foundation of which we will build the future. It's where I think we'll actually see what's known as Web 3.0 really come to life. And our, when you buy digital assets, you'll be able to take them in and out of the metaverse, actually. And at least the way I see it right now, we are early days in the metaverse. Um, but I grew up in the mobile phone industry, and I think much like the mobile phone industry, much of where the metaverse begins will likely be in business. And we see this already today in businesses that are used to wearing head-worn devices. So doctors who go into surgery might wear magnifiers or lights, and first responders or soldiers might wear helmets. And then in manufacturing, you might have safety glasses. Those seem to be the industries that are adopting this idea of digitally overlaying your physical world initially. And they're, they're the ones who are actually seeing value today. But most importantly, as at the dawn of this new infrastructure, we absolutely must ensure that it remains open and it's fair and accessible for all players, developers, businesses, consumers alike, and, and companies so that it's not you know, dominated by one, one area of, of our existing digital infrastructure. And then obviously, like with any new technology, we need to ensure that it, our data, our personal data is kept private, secure, and most critically, that it's your data and that you have the ability to access your data anywhere. And I think the opportunity with the metaverse is we've learned quite a bit from uh, what's happened with Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. We know what the pitfalls are. So we have the opportunity to really form this new metaverse in the right way from the beginning. And with that, um, I think we'll come back to the panel. Uh, just something to keep in mind, the metaverse is already here. It's useful in some ways, but it's early. And so it's exciting to have you here as we start on this journey. Thank you.